Welcome to another week of A Friendly Nudge. Well, since it's Labor Day weekend in the States, I thought that this week would be perfect for a chimichurri and grilled flap steak. And, I, you know, the steak kind of looks like it could be skirt steak. And I was like, what the hell is a flap steak? But, but in essence, it's part of the sirloin. So it's got a lot of flavor like uh, skirt steak does. It's a little bit more tender. And, you know, either one of those cuts will work. And the chimichurri is like super simple. It's just uh, Italian parsley, flat leaf parsley. I'm using a Fresno chili, a couple of uh, uh, cloves of garlic, a little bit of dried oregano, some salt, and olive oil and uh, uh, red, red wine vinegar. And what I'm doing here, I'm just kind of getting out any of this sort of uh, tough garbage or funky looking leaves from the Italian parsley. And this is just like a, it's a whole bunch of it that I'm cutting up. So if there's any thin, thick stems, you pull those out. Sometimes you'll find some leaves that look a little weird, ditch those. But what we want to do is just cut it up real fine with the knife. I'm not going to like do a blender with this because normally chimichurri has that like a little bit rougher texture. So I'm just going to chop it up real well. And, you know, this thing is going to come together quick, but it adds so much flavor to the, the, the grilled steak. And, you know, you can use this stuff on everything. So I'm just, I'm going to put it all in a bowl. And, the, you know, and you can see there, it's, it's cut up pretty fine. And then these are two uh, peeled cloves of garlic. And I'm just going to smash them flat. And then I'll uh, go ahead and uh, dice them up. Yeah, okay, just a little bit more. <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't like using a, a garlic press for the most part. I'd rather just try to chop it fine. And, you know, that's, that's certainly up to you. I think for me, it, it's always like a little bit more bitter if I try to use a garlic press. So I'm just going to give it a, a, a good chop. And, you know, like all the other stuff I cut here, it's like I'm not worried about it being exact. Um, and then it looks like I need to sharpen my knife and then get the stems out of the Fresno. And Fresnos, I think, are just like a little bit hotter than jalapenos. And I just cut it into strips and then I'm going to, you know, cross cut it and dice it. And, you know, with with this or jalapenos or any of the stuff, you know, when you're using your your hands to hold it, I always suggest making sure you uh, uh, wash your hands real well afterwards because rubbing your eye after that uh, can be pretty un uncomfortable. I'm just putting like a couple of pinches of dried oregano in and then a pretty good pinch of salt. And then, I, you know, this is probably a quarter of a cup of... Uh, Vinegar, what I want to do, and I'll show you here in just a second, is kind of how much I put in there. Yeah, just enough to where it gives you a pretty good puddle. And then I'm just going to go kind of nuts with the olive oil because you want this stuff to be oily. It's, uh, you know, because what it really becomes is just a, it, it's almost like a salsa that you can add to things. But it just, you know, having uh, like curries and chutneys and sauces in the fridge just give you a lot more variety whenever you're cooking. I'm going to put a few uh, turns of bug, uh, pepper in there. Get that stirred up. And then, yeah, this stuff, I just, I love how it tastes. I mean, I put it on eggs. And now, you know, I've got the grill hot. And you don't have to cook this stuff long. First of all, it's real thin. So I'm just going to put it on here, let it get, you know, a good char on one side, and then I'll flip it over. And you could use, uh, you know, a charcoal grill. It's just, you know, gas, uh, this is a propane uh, grill. It's just easy. And, you know, temperature-wise, I'm looking for like 135. I don't want it, you know, you can do it like medium rare. This is probably like just nudging towards medium. Because it's so thin, it, you're, it's going to cook really quick. And then, I, you know, just get it inside and uh, get, get it get it cut out. And the thing that's nice about this is now we've got enough for several meals. So, yeah, I definitely don't want to cook it where that it's like, you know, medium well. Or, you know, I want it somewhere between medium rare and medium. 
And I, you know, I usually just try to cut it. You cut it across the grain. So we'll get, we, we, we gotta have the, uh, you know, the sample of course. So yeah, I wanna make sure that I get plenty of chimichurri on it. And you know, whether or not it's a holiday where you are, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Uh, this of course is delicious and play with your food.